All right, we are back in American Truck Sim at Del Rio. Just fueled up. We're gonna head to Corpus Christi now. Should be a fairly short trip, um, but it's uh, yeah. We'll see how it goes. Uh, not that long, but it's gonna pay good money. You can see we're down to fifteen thousand because I just paid off all my loans. So we no longer have those bad decisions. So now I can start saving up and go for a different truck if I want to. Um, we are hauling chlorine now. So um, yeah, we're gonna, gonna take this all the way to Corpus Christi and uh, hopefully see some good stuff, but looking like it should only be four hours in game so this will probably be a fairly short video but yeah no more loans going out so that will be nice let's uh take a look and hop on the road So yeah, we are all the way at the south end of town. Although, I guess, the south end of where we can go, there's a whole lot left in that direction. Not sure if it's a uh, border town, or uh, if, yeah, I mean, the border's gotta be in that direction somewhere, but Let's go ahead and go. We got them stopped at a red. This trailer seems to be a little bit longer as well, so um, not that that's going to affect anything. But we, uh, yeah, you know, we got a five-hour and eighteen-minute drive in game. Two hundred and ninety-seven miles, though, so that's about half the distance that we've been doing. Got flashing yellows here, which means watch out. But on we go with this journey. So this is kind of trying to set us up to a better market for jobs. There wasn't a whole lot here. I kind of wanted to move to the east side of Texas as well, just to go up that way rather than back the way that we've already been. Now there was some really, really long jobs from this, but um, I think those would have had to been split up over multiple videos, so. This one paid well and is short, so that's what we're going to do. And maybe if there's another short job right away, I'll put it all in one video, or this will just be a short video. Depends on how long we have to sit at this red light. Yeah, this, uh, this is going to take us, I guess we're just on this highway for a bit, so. We're just going to get every single red light, though, on this highway. That'll definitely slow this trip down. Um, yeah, there was one trip all the way up to Grand Island that was like $70,000, but... That would have taken about three episodes, I think, to do. Although that might be... I mean, it was definitely way, way good on dollars per mile. But maybe once we get over there, I'll think about doing 
a really, really long haul. Um, or if we can find, like, if I just keep up in that distance on my skill, then maybe we can go from Texas to Washington or something crazy like that over a few episodes. But stuff like that's all kind of interstate driving, and I enjoy the little back road highways, and again, I like the back road highways where we don't have to go through towns with stoplights. That's, I'm changing my answer. So we got a little uh, thing up here again. A scenic, possibly a scenic area or a attraction point. see if we can spot it, figure out what it is. But, uh, yeah, this whole area, I know nothing about. So, we're gonna figure it out and see what it's like. If it's flat, if it's hilly. I know just southeast of Lubbock, there's, you know, this massive kind of drop-off canyon area, but I don't think it extends all the way down here. I mean, this has taken, we're on eight minutes to get from the gas station to the final stoplight, I hope, in town. But there we go. On we go. Estimated time of arrival, 4.41 now. Probably gonna go down to two lane. Yeah, looking like it. What we got over there? Scenic view of I don't know the river. If I was in a car, I'd pull over. But uh, yeah, I'm sure they got mods out there for cars. Maybe we'll have to do that, download a mod like that, and uh, hop in a car and go to the scenic points in each state. Alright, two lane highway, but 75, although we're not going to be able to go that fast, but highway 90. Wind farm, we got some hills, we got a railroad crossing. Where? There it is. Okay. Well, at least the markers were well ahead. Um, I don't have a button for hazard, so that's a, something I forgot to do on the last one, but we'll, uh, Oh, sweet, and it's one of these pain-in-the-ass one double tracks. Just far enough apart that you can fit the truck in between, so you gotta stop at both. You got people working on it, you got a train going from the other area. 
Alright. Need a hazard button or figure out what the button is on my keyboard. Just held up traffic massively, but that's part of the deal. Not a closed off way station, possibly. Maybe another one coming up for the other direction, or nope, it's splitting off into two bridges. Oh, this is interesting. Two completely different types of bridges. And single lane. That is odd. That is really, really odd. So, entering a town now, we're already going 55, but I'm sure we'll drop to 40 and then 35. We got another scenic area. Photo for, uh, oh, I have no idea. I, I don't know what that would even be. I, I need to figure out what those are. But we're going straight on through. Got probably the courthouse there. Let's hop out and look real quick. Maybe that'll be our screenshot. Alright. Every red light we hit, we're slowly pushing that time back, plus the railroad crossings slowed us down quite a bit. Oops. Sorry, mouse is slightly moving around, causing the view. I know there was some ways to set it up so that the mouse only changed your view when you right clicked. I'm going to have to look into that. Okay. Nice and easy through town. Speeding up. San Antonio, 58 away. And looks like we're four way to it, so. Hopefully, will mean uh, any crossings will be overpass, underpass situation. Um, the clouds are really booking it. That's just throwing me off. Uh, we got another railroad crossing. At least everyone can go around now. All right. No four-way flash. It is hazard H. Nope, that's horn. Four. Nope, that's a view. Flashers. There we go. F. Now we can do it properly. Keep them on until we get back up to speed, just in case no one's paying attention. Not that they're going to see our flashers. What is going on with these clouds? I've never seen the clouds move. I've never noticed it. Maybe it's been doing it the whole time, but they are 
They're getting crazy. The speed of them. What is happening? Alright, well, we got a rest area. Looks like it goes in the center. That's unique. I mean, I've seen it in Ohio when I'm when I drove through there, but yeah, it works. I mean, I guess we got a way station that's in the center of uh, 275 here in Nebraska. Pretty big rest area, though. And now, we got big old farmland area. All right, the clouds have rolled out quickly. Maybe that's what it was doing. It was doing a weather change. Got a speed trap. And we gotta be San Antonio around here. on 65, but river San Antonio and something that looks like it's straight out of Iraq I guess it doesn't have a sword but Maybe it's, maybe that was military based. All right, take a quick look. We got San Antonio over there. Let's see if we can. There we go. As I drive off the road, don't mind me. One mile to our exit. Looks like we've got some normal interchanges around here. Roll off. Exits are normally 50, 55. But with everything condensed in this game, things can uh, tighten up much quicker than real life. No traffic coming. All right. Move on over. Here we go, 147 miles out. Let's see if, uh, is it F2? I might pause the game on accident. There we go. All right, give us a better view. turn it on when we're in city driving, but don't need the right mirror for now. Another rest area, this one is on the outside. So ETA bouncing around 524, 525, that'll obviously get slowed down little bit more. The clouds are back. 
but we also turned to the south, so that's probably why. Way station. Are we going to get a pass through? Nope. Slowing us down even more. have got nice covered inspection areas. Okay. I don't know what that means for overweight or I don't have my uh, fire extinguisher clamped down so they're writing me up for that. on the road. Looks like everyone's gotten over for us. So yeah, these frontage roads are what always threw me off driving through Texas because you would exit onto them and they have to yield to you and of course I was the idiot that wasn't fully understanding how that all worked this is a whole different country down here two miles out now starting to push six o'clock after having to stop at the way station So, um, full interstate driving all the way there from San Antonio. Now that I know 65 is all we can do with these jobs. I'm not too worried about uh, truck, like getting a new truck, although I want a new truck because this thing is horribly ugly, but um, it looks like our exit might be coming up actually the first exit. Got a blue line. What do we got going on here? Okay. We are following this to the left. This is a bit like the 680 I-80 interchange. And then we're immediately getting off once we get through here. And then we got a 
Big old overpass. Go back to double mirrors here. Although I don't think we're going to have much city traffic to deal with. Although, uh, setting up for the next job is, unless we get something straight out of this industrial plant we're going to, it's not going to be too terribly, that threw me off looking that way, need to stop doing that. All right. Yeah, we might got we might have a ways to go in order to pick up our next load, but this area looks pretty massive. Speed limit 60. It's fine. I, where are we going? I thought we were just, uh, maybe it's a really roundabout way back to all those smokestacks. Or maybe that's not even a place you go to in this game. I figured that was where we were going with chlorine, but. Yeah, probably are. All right. Are we, uh, we're at a port, okay. We've got a whole lot of things happening here. We got a bridge that's halfway constructed. Railroad track running to our right. port and containers all over the place here. A crane is actually animated and moving. That was surprising to see. And then we are going to be turning in up here. Although I did not give myself a whole lot of room. Let's watch that right rear. We're good. Okay. We've got stop train there. We're just gonna slow and roll over because it's not an actual active track. Service track into the port. And that is the trip. So we will go back this thing. Since we got some time to look stupid. Okay. Where do they want it? Okay, in between those trailers. Got it. Well, if that's where you want that, then I'm gonna go around so that I can back with everything in the view from the left side. if we can get around here. All right, give myself enough room to the right so that when I swing my cab out, we're not hitting the fence. And it's just kind of 
Get it at an angle to start off with. Okay. Did not pull far enough forward. Could tell that was not going to swing in time. All right. Or not how I wanted it to. I did not give myself enough room to the right. This one is it's a bit brutal, especially with that truck. And we got the front end here. Let's just, okay, We're still okay. follow it around, but I'm not sure that we can without putting the right front into the fence. Okay. Okay. Fully turn it. Double check our front end one more time. Damn. We just get it back there a bit. Without it going too far. There we go. Alright. So, let's think about this. I need to... I want to just do a quick little... Straighten up there. Okay. And then I need to not pull forward. Let's just take it straight back. We're going to be really close on that side, but it should trigger. You know what, we got enough room ahead of us now to just kind of throw it off to the right here and then straighten up. We got enough room to hopefully pull the rear end of the trailer a little straighter. Now we can back straight up. We won't be as close on the left side. Unless I do something stupid like that and turn the wheel. Straight back from here. Give me the ding. There we go. It's not pretty. I want to see how bad it is. Oh, yeah. We did not hit it. I want to point that out. If you want to look at the uh, left rear wheel on that trailer, you will have to have to squeeze in. But that was parked. And we didn't hit anything. All right, almost twenty thousand. We gained eight hundred and eight XP. We don't jump up another level, but. Um, yeah, we're up to $35,000 now, so that is good news. Maybe I just started upgrading this. No, I don't know. I need to I need to figure out what I want to do. So we got 34 minutes into this. Maybe I go look at what the jobs are here. And, uh, ooh, that's an interesting one. Heading up to Tulsa. I think that's our next one. Let's go pick up this trailer. Or, I guess, sort of trailer. We're 
we're just pulling trucks. I have no idea how that'll drive, and uh, I hope I don't get myself in a situation where I gotta back up, but that's the direction I wanna go anyways. Let's go pick this job up, and that will be the next video, just to kind of extend this past uh, 35 minutes. Where do we gotta go? Doubt it's in here. Yeah, it's not. No, that'll be interesting to see how those pull around corners, because I've obviously only really ever paid attention to them on the interstate. We don't have to do anything with the crossing. Traffic-wise, we're good to go. Alright. 29 miles to go pick up the trailer. And then we're going to Tulsa, which I have been to. For the Chili Bowl. And eventually, one day, we'll probably go down there for soccer. If Omaha gets uh, drawn against them. Okay, 90 year old man in the RV is coming fast. Can't believe this road is 60. And this thing is definitely not bouncing around enough. I don't feel like I'm getting bounced around at all. No trailer on. We should be suffering a bit. Where are we going? Alright, we're. It looks like we're staying pretty much in this area, although I have no idea how much is actually. Like, we were at a port, so. There's gotta be some water in that direction. But I felt like I saw the city over there, too, so. I really don't understand where I'm at. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I was thinking a stack of containers was a ship when it was just a railroad container yard, but I don't think so. No, there was a big ass bridge. It was definitely water there. What we got going on here? Alright. Just wanted to make sure we didn't have a stop. I don't like how these cars pull out looking like they're gonna go straight. Uh, turns out, when you don't have 40,000 pounds attached to the back of you, you stop much quicker. Hence why we stopped five miles from that stop sign. is our stop. And we don't have to stop at the thing. It just tells us where our trailer is. Because we're already in a job. Oh, okay. the easy way. I hope. Okay. 
might be a little off center. They're gonna attach though. Oh god. Nope. I think I was way too low. And way too far off to the left. I mean, at least I did one good backing. No? There we go. Alright. Well... That's for the next video. And, uh, yeah, that one's gonna be interesting. I don't know if there's... I wonder if there's some sort of speed... limit that you need to stick to with these. Um, yeah, but 710 miles, that one's gonna be a long video. But that will be next weekend. And, uh, yeah, hope you're enjoying this. Thanks for watching.